Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Friday, February 11th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, today uh, there's a prayer meeting at 9 a.m. Uh, it's both in person here at New Beginnings and on Zoom. Uh, last time uh, that I checked in, there were probably eight or nine people in that prayer meeting. It was a great prayer meeting. So uh, definitely be involved in that 9 a.m. every Friday on Zoom. Um, actually, I think they might all be on Zoom. Um, and uh, that's the only event that we have going today. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, no events scheduled. On Sunday, uh, 9 o'clock, we have our church history class. And uh, at 10 o'clock, our morning service. And then at 7 p.m. is deeper. Uh, so that's uh, church history class at 9, uh, mor morning service at 10, and deeper at 7 o'clock. And of course, looking forward to seeing you again here Monday for our next daily devotional video. Well, this week we've been looking at uh, uh, some of the tidbits out of Genesis chapter 22 that I didn't get to talk about in my sermon on Sunday. So um, we're going to take a look at something very cool today. And this is uh, based out of this uh, verse here, Genesis 22, verses 15 through 17. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, by myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you. God says, by myself I have sworn. It's just a little phrase, by myself I have sworn. And, uh, but when we get to the New Testament, excuse me, when we get to the New Testament, the writer of the book of Hebrews uh, makes a big point out of this. I think it's a great, a great point, one that we need to hear. Here's what it says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verses 13 through 20. For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. For people swear by something greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of his promise, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor for the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Boy, I, I like that passage so much I had to quote it at length because it, it's just so great. I, I kept on looking for a place to cut it. And if I had been a better man, if I if I had been a more courageous man, I'd have cut it earlier. But I just love it so much, I couldn't couldn't help myself. Uh, but yeah, th there's this, this phrase, by myself I have sworn. The writer of Hebrews says that... Uh, it's a powerful indicator of how sure and certain God's promise is to all who, uh, but through faith, believe in Jesus Christ. How strong, how sure is that promise? It's so strong and so sure that it's guaranteed by God's oath. Let's go back there, right? Uh, people swear by something greater than themselves, but... Uh, there's nothing greater than God. And so God said, uh, I surely will bless you and multiply you. And he swore by himself. Um, and what God wanted to show is that for those who uh, by faith uh, would be encouraged and would have hope uh, that God's promise of, of salvation through faith is secure. Uh, so Abraham patiently waited, and he obtained the promise. There's patience and faith. Those are the two things that the writer of Hebrews wants us to get out of God's swearing by himself that he would surely bless and multiply Abraham. Patience and faith. Brothers, sisters, if I have no other thing to say to you, those are the two things I want to say. Have patience and have faith. Trust in Jesus to save you. 
when times are tough, when it seems doubtful, when all, thing, all things seem difficult, patience and faith, patience and faith. God has sworn by himself that, uh, that all who trust in him by faith will be saved. So have patience, endure, have faith, look for the future. Amen? God swore it by himself. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your love for us, Lord. I pray that you would encourage us today to always have patience and to hang on through faith. God, I lift up uh, to you the prayer meeting this morning at 9 o'clock. We pray that you'd bless those folks for coming to pray. God, I pray that you would do wonderful things in our congregation uh, in, in response to their prayers. Lord, that the sick might be healed, that those who are far from Jesus might be saved, uh, and that those, Lord, who are in distress might be comforted. Lord, you're a good God, and I just pray that you would uh, listen to the prayers of your people. Lord, we love you, and we trust you, and we give ourselves to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, New Beginnings, I, I do love you, and I look forward to talking to you again on Monday.